Hi everybody, it's Giselle Aguiar, AZ Social Media Wiz here, and it's four o'clock on Wednesdays, and it's time for Wednesdays with the Wiz. And I'm coming to you today from my new home in uh, kind of North Central Phoenix. And I've been moving the last couple of days, and uh, today a friend of mine came by to help me organize my office. So as you can see, I've got blank walls in the back, and um, um, but um, I got a nice, well-lit room here. So and I got super fast internet with Cox. I am so excited! I got their fastest plan. So there'll be no stopping video streaming now. There's no way. So so I highly recommend it. Okay, never ever ever go with CenturyLink if you can get Cox. Um, anyway, um, what I want to talk about today is, and I um, and I sat through a webinar earlier today about um, from the. Um, uh, Sharp Spring, which is the company that uh, that I've um, been working with to learn how to do marketing automation, and um, basically the, uh, the one of the ideas is um, that whenever you you talk to a potential client, you want that person to be a warm lead as opposed to a cold lead. A cold lead being somebody who you have no idea if they're even interested in what you have to offer. So. Um, and this and and it this takes me back to my first days um, uh, being in in sales back in the oh gosh in the 70s and the 80s. I've sold just about everything from timeshares to encyclopedias, and um, believe me, um, even I remember um, selling copiers and fax machines when fax machines first came out. Okay, I'm dating myself here. But, you know, when, and, and going door to door, going door to door, even going door to door selling pots and pans, okay? I've been there with the cold calling and I've talked to people that are still trying to do cold calling and nobody wants to be cold called. Nobody wants to be, you know, nobody wants a telemarketing phone call to come on their cell phone, you know, of all places, especially at dinner time. Uh, nobody wants to, um, you know, when they're at work to be interrupted by, you know, somebody trying to sell them something that they don't need. Okay. Um, even though the salesperson might be able to convince you that you need their product, they really don't want to hear it right then. In today's world that everything is, you know, either on a, a mobile device or on a computer or a tablet and somebody wants something, they're going to they're gonna Google it. They're going to look for it. They're going to find it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and, um, you know, so, so one of the things is, is you want to be where you know, in the search results. So there, when they're looking for something, they're looking for what it is you have to offer, you want to be there. And it, it takes a little work to do this. It's not an easy thing to do. It's not as easy as buying a Yellow Pages ad back in the day, or a TV ad, you know, or a radio spot. And and, and so, yes, this tra the traditional marketing is still out there, but it's not where the people are. Um, and uh, you know, and, and even, you know, trying to, to email somebody, whether you're connected with them on LinkedIn or they've uh, started following you on one of the social media networks and you send them an email, you know, hi, it was nice connecting with you. Um, uh, this is what I do. I'd like to learn what you do. And I, I see that type of email. I'm like, um, well, yeah, I, I just connected with you and maybe at some point, in the not so distant future, I might need what you have to offer, or I might know somebody that has that needs what you have to offer or wants what you have to offer. But right now, I'm busy and I'm not, you know, going to take time out of my day to go have coffee with you. No, okay. So, um, one of the things about cold calling is you really don't know. Who, the, the person that you're cold calling to. I've had people pitch me social media services and I'm like, dude, that's what I do for a living. Did you even read my LinkedIn profile? 
you know and so and, and that's what the first thought and believe me I'm not going to do business with this person whatsoever because they didn't take the time to find out who I am okay so how do you find your target market what do you do well that's where a special offer or a freebie or a discount coupon or some call to action comes up on your website uh, you know give them something for free and they'll give you their email address okay at that point you know they're interested that cold per that cold lead what would a cold lead before all of a sudden became a warm lead and a warm lead means that they're somehow interested either for themselves or somebody they know or family member whatever they're interested and that is a huge difference because somebody who's a warm lead is more apt to want to talk to you because they 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 showed interest in your freebie in your ebook so one of the things that um, you want to make sure is that you really get to know your target market so you know what it is that they want you know what it is they need and you know exactly how to help them and so give them a freebie give them a free ebook or a white paper if you're more technical or a coupon or uh, you know some sort of guide you know something and they give you uh, or, or even a free trial or something so that you're giving them something and in return they give you their email address and so and at that point you can then email them and yes you can ask them a couple of questions in the form that they need to fill out you know like it could be you know it, it, it just but just don't make them don't make this form very long because if people aren't gonna jump through hoops unless you've got a really really good thing that they want to download okay so you know just a couple of questions based on those answers that's where marketing automation comes in so if they answered question um, yes to question A, then they get a specific email. So they, and, and you want to personalize that email. So you know, hi Sally, thank you for downloading our ebook. I understand that you are interested. You are in this situation, and um, you might be interested in in these products. Or I can help you out. Or this can help you out. Or this service can help you out. Something directed, you know, to that person because they answered the question. Then the somebody who answers question B, that's um, to happen. My connection went down. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, cut everything off. All right. Anyways, um, so um, and the person that answered question B in a yes, uh, and make them yes or no. You don't want the you know you don't want them to fill out a whole you know a whole life story thing here. So just make them quick yes or no questions, and based on their answers, you're gonna get a um, uh, you're gonna send them an email specifically personalized to, to, to based on that answer. Now obviously you don't know that much about that person but you know that they're interested in a certain type of product or a certain service or they're looking for this or they're looking for that so based on that you can more personalize the email message the problem with everyone's doing emails and newsletters is that they're they're written for everybody and you know like the other the other day I got a newsletter from um, from a local magazine and um, you know they had nice pictures they had the title and click here to read more well the title didn't tell me a thing about what was in that article so I like I don't want to click on this because I don't know what I'm gonna read I'm, you know I want the I want the an excerpt of the article and then I'll decide if I'm interested in reading the whole thing okay so that was something that was totally wasted email and and guess what I hit the unsubscribe button um, you know and another uh, you know another one is you know again the people on LinkedIn that I connect with just because I connected with you on LinkedIn doesn't mean I want to buy your product or service okay but if you know if I see you posting articles on your expertise and writing about that and so when when somebody asks me do you know so-and-so or, or as somebody who does this and this and so where do I go I go to LinkedIn it's my virtual Rolodex 
Okay, so I want to be able to say, okay, this I know this person has uh, the expertise that you're looking for, or this person provides that service, or this person has that product. Uh, you have to uh, the uh, this you're gonna that uh, definitely gonna help you. So just go there, and I can connect them. Okay, that's that's what on that's what networking is all about. The same thing with networking at a chamber of commerce or a live networking event, but you're doing it online. That's the only difference. That's a, that's the the social networking part of social media. Um, but again, you want you want to make make sure that that connection is a warm lead that they are interested in finding out more about your company in what it is that you have to offer don't just send them an email because you just connected with them no uh, I mean people connect with people because for for various different reasons but you know some LinkedIn you know sometimes it's its own worst enemy because you know you just get you might know this person so I mean, people just hit connect 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 and I was like you know, wait a minute, I don't really know that person. And what do they do? Uh, well, they're a student in Dallas, Texas. I'm like, well, you know, I can't help them. And they're more than likely not gonna be able to help me. So I don't see a reason to connect with this person. So I'm not gonna send them a connection request just because they 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 might be a number two or number three because we have somebody in common. No, and you don't have to accept everybody's connection requests unless you're specifically trying to target your your um, uh, you know, grow your network and get going. But again, that comes back to it. You know, don't send out cold emails. Um, and there is something called the Can Spam Act with email marketing. And you can't just buy an email list and just blast everybody on there. And so, no, that doesn't work either. I mean, you get deleted, you get marked as spam, and you don't want to go there at all. So the best thing to do is to, you know, have on your website something that some that your target market's going to be interested in that they're going to want to download and they're going to give you their email address and answer a couple of questions. And that's the idea. They become a warm lead. Now at the point that they might go to contact us, at that point they say, "Okay, now that becomes a hot lead because they're really interested in what it is that you have to offer." Now, um, how do they get to become a hot lead? Well, one of the things you need to do is you need to have content on your website. I always said there's like uh, three types of people out there that uh, of shoppers. Okay, you've got the impulse buyer or the person that's convinced that, that you've got what they have, what they want and what they need and they'll just go boom, boom and just go buy it without asking questions, without having to go to contact us or all this stuff, they'll just go buy it. Okay, those are great, but not everybody works that way and you've got the, the the people who want to explore on their own okay these are people that are gonna read everything they're gonna read your website uh, pages they're gonna read blog posts on, on uh, specific topics these people are going to um, uh, they're gonna want to find content on your website the longer they stay on your site the, the bigger the chances are that they're gonna do something they're gonna buy something they're gonna download something whatever Okay, um, one of, and then the other person is the one that, um, that yes, is interested, but they're not exactly ready to buy yet. And they're gonna need a little bit more convincing. They may email you, ask a question. Okay, they're gonna engage you somehow. They might comment on you. My connection is weak. Hmm, okay, I'm not liking that. Anyway, sorry, what was, what was I talking about? Oh, I lost my people. Um, ah, the people that want to engage you. So they may, they may want to send you an email, they might want to um, uh, ask a question on Facebook, or they might uh, comment uh, on your blog post. And so that's one of the things that um, that then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to respond to them in a timely manner. Um, because these are these are hot leads. They're interested. Okay, so um, so that's why you really need to understand everybody. Um, uh, you know, that's involved in your target market. So you need target market personas. So I have on my website the free Define Your Target Market Workbook that you can um, uh, you can download for free. That's my freebie. One of my freebies. I have another one that's coming out very soon. 
and it started out being 101 social media marketing mistakes that small businesses make and it came out to 216 yes oh my gosh so uh, that ebook it will be available very very soon hopefully by the end of this week and uh, I'm also going to be putting together I'm in the process of finalizing a package just for startups so if you're just starting your business or you're in the process of rebranding or expanding uh, or thinking you have a new concept, uh, well, this is going to be a package for you. And it's going to have everything from um, uh, the Define Your Target Market Workbook, um, how to do basic market research, uh, keyword research, how to find out you know, industry economic outlook, uh, your target markets. Um, uh, and how to apply the research to your strategy and your tactical plan. Um, uh, and and, and uh, this is going to be very popular, an online marketing lingo guide. Yes, a glossary to all those crazy words like uh, tweeting and repinning and... Um, Oh, you name it! All those crazy words out there. So it's gonna it's gonna help you, Leah, because it's like you're in social media and you're in a foreign country. Well, this is gonna help you um, uh, to uh, understand and be able to communicate with the natives. Okay, you need to do that. Also, you're gonna get a, a online resource guide, which is all the places that I go to find out what's going on and that I use, plus others that that you might find helpful. Um, free WordPress plugins that you need okay these are the ones that I use that are free to use and free to set up and they save a lot of time okay um, uh, there's uh, my branding class okay so it goes into everything from your online image to the psychology of color and reputation management so branding beyond the logo so that you know branding is more than just your logo it's everything from the type of content that you put out um, to your your online image so that's going to be in that package too plus templates for a strategic marketing plan and a tactical marketing plan it is the you know the startup package for businesses for small businesses so that will be available very soon and uh, if you want to get on my email list go to my website download that free um, define your target market workbook and that will get you started and then you'll be on my email list and you will find out um, all the information uh, as to when the um, this package will be available and believe me it's gonna be very affordable um, and then coming very very soon I'm gonna have the fast track DIY do-it-yourself bundle which is gonna have my my um, social media marketing boot camp and a bunch of other courses and we're also going to and definitely how to videos on how to do every little thing that you need to do on social media we're gonna have a video on how to do it and we're gonna be in one affordable package and then we'll have other classes up there, WordPress classes, video marketing classes, time management classes. So we're putting a lot of stuff out there. We want to help you learn how to take control of your marketing and to do it correctly, to do it properly and effectively because we want you to succeed. You know, um, uh, what makes America great are small businesses that are, are growing. And to grow, you need to market yourself. And to market yourself, you need to know social media. So I'm here to help you, Giselle, AZ Social Media Wiz. And so, um, uh, so click below, and you can go to, right to the link on my Facebook page here, or above, or somewhere on there. You can um, uh, uh, watch the, uh, the video on understanding social media marketing. I also just launched a free mini course. Okay, so that's, um, the links to that are on my Facebook page also. So um, you can see an overview of the social media networks. And uh, so it's a little series of uh, short videos on each of the networks. So that's going to be available. That's available also. And so thanks for watching. And we'll see you next Wednesday for Wednesdays with the Wiz.